Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Nishtha Agrawal and today I have come up with yet another video on how to effectively use the QBank and uh, how to practice MCQs for NEET PG, INICT and FMG exam. So before starting, just a quick introduction about myself. My name is Dr. Nishtha Agrawal. I did my undergraduation from Maulana Azad Medical College, New Delhi. And thereafter, I secured an All India rank of 687 in this year's NEET PG, which was my first in internship attempt. And uh, currently, I'm pursuing radiology residency now. So, uh, let's start. So, for the past two to three months, I've worked as an editor at the Maru. So, I have a slight idea. I've regained some insight behind how the question bank of Maru is formed and what kind of questions are put into it. So, this is my attempt to uh, bring to bring to you the best strategy to solve the MCQ. So why to solve MCQs firstly? So I'll give you a very uh, recent example. One of my mentees approached me regarding uh, some of the staging of uh, stomach cancer and uh, he said that he was able to remember the staging but then the same question came in the exam in the form of a question and he was not able to answer it. So that is primarily the reason because there is a uh, there is a gap between what you read in theory and uh, the way the question is framed in the examination and to bridge that gap you need to solve the MCQ. So, I would uh, rather argue that as important as it is to go and read the theory, it is equally important to solve the MCQ side by side. Alright. Now, which platform to use while solving the MCQ? So, uh, I would personally recommend Maru. This is not a sponsored video or anything. But uh, the reason I am saying Maru is because Maru is an app which is uh, used by approximately 1.5 to 2 lakh students all across the India. At least the plan be the question bank plan. So whenever you are uh, giving a GT on Maru or you are solving the questions on Maru, you will kind of get a real time assessment of where, are, where is your standing as compared to the rest of the students who are going to compete in the exam. So it's always a good idea to solve the questions from a platform which is used by many because at the end of the day you are going to compete with the rest all. Okay, alright. Now how to actually go on about it. So again um, the strategy i have divided it for two kind of students one is uh, students who are in college right now in the second third fourth year whatever so for you it is very simple you need to just watch your videos uh, whatever videos you are doing from whichever platform you are doing then you solve that video specific question mark for example if you are doing obscaini you did the fibroid so you come back and you solve the fibroid question mark now i know it is not possible to solve all the question marks so it is just as many as possible you can solve that is good enough all right there is no pressure to solve everything but try to solve as many as possible okay now the main thing comes about the pg prep phase so when you are preparing for the pg so this is essentially for those who are doing the internship or those who are taking a drop or a break here as i like to call it so for the interns or for those who are in their break year now uh, see, first question that arises is, is it wise to solve the whole QBank? So my n clear cut answer is no, it's not. You do not need to solve the whole question bank because often the questions in Maru, uh, the 60 to 78% of questions are nice enough, but the 10% are just fillers because we are just putting it to, you know, kind of complete the question bank. 10 to 20% are just fact based or something from the notes which is uh, which was asked 10 years back or because they need to provide you a comprehensive question bank so they are not going to leave any topic or anything out but that does not mean that you need to uh, go through anything so you need to be very mindful of what kind of questions you're going to solve because ultimately in the, at the end of the day i always say this the fight is not with the content or the fight is not not because you're not able to revise it or remember it our whole fight is with time you need to revise as many times as possible as relevant content as possible in the very given time period so uh, if you are not doing the whole QBank then what is the solution so the solution is the custom module we are going to do the custom module now I'm going to tell you in very detail how to go about the custom module so just to give you a brief you are going to solve custom modules you are going uh, daily solve two custom modules 40 to 50 questions each one custom module you will make of all the previous year questions of all the subjects so one would be a mixed pack question module okay and another custom module you will make of the subject that you are specifically studying on that day for example let's say if i'm studying obscaini again so i will do one custom module of all 19 subjects previous year questions and i will do one custom module of obscaini okay now how to actually create a custom module okay so you are going to select let's say 50 questions you're going to sub select now the various subjects you can use so you can either choose all subjects 
you can choose first second year subjects you can use combination of subjects you can choose all the short subjects or the clinical subjects the integrated medicine surgery integrated surgery and all the allied subjects like that then you are going to put these two most important tags which is neat pg and ini all right iske baad if you feel that okay now you have covered all the pyqs and the questions are starting to repeat then you can go on with clinical image based in recent update tags okay it is okay if you solve all the tags once in a while but your main focus your main priority should be the previous year questions all right and then you set it in exam mode and then you solve it a good idea is to for 50 questions a good idea is to solve it in 40 minutes so you solve it in 40 minutes and you to you take another 60 to 70 minutes for each that would some total of 1 uh, hour and 30 40 minutes so that is the amount you'll require to solve 50 questions and review it simultaneously all right and the second question module like i said it sh it should be 50 questions of just the subject that you are studying so again all these steps are same 50 questions you select obscaini here for example when you are studying obscaini you select obscaini previous year question tag and you set it in exam mode and then you solve it again uh, i have also created a telegram group where i keep posting daily custom modules the kind of custom modules which i saw during my preparation phase so if you are somebody who is finding difficulty to create one for yourself you can always join in the telegram group and uh, solve the uh, custom module that i am giving all right something very important review please 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 review the quest uh, all the questions that you're solving on the same date itself i've seen a lot many students who do this mistake what happens is you solve the questions and then you keep it for review later on and that later on never comes so your questions keep on piling and it becomes like a huge pile of questions that you have solved but you don't know the right answer the wrong answer and the whole mehnat the whole effort goes into waste so i don't want you to do that i want you to review it on the same day all right now how much time to give to mcq practice like i said practicing mcq is almost as equal equally important as practicing or reading theory so at least 30 to 40% of your study time should give it, should be given to mcq practice if you are somebody who is in the who is in the beginning of their preparation you can maybe give 30% of your time to mcqs but as as you come closer to the exam uh you need to you need to give it more than 50% i would actually argue you need to give 50 to 60% time to mcq practice so what i used to do i used to solve one custom module in the morning right when i woke up one custom module post lunch because that was the time when i would be a bit lazy to you know open book and read my notes and one custom module before sleeping so i used to solve three custom modules every day i tried to solve three custom modules every day and i used to divide it like this for in terms I know it's tough. I know it's tough because I have been in the similar position as you, but it is doable. Not just me, but thousands of people have done it before me. Thousands of people have done it with me, and thousands of people are going to do it after me. And you are going to be one among those thousands. So do not doubt it. How you can make out time for solving custom modules? You can do it in between the referrals when you're going from one place to the another. When you are at your night duty and there is some free time during collections. when you're going to collect something collect a report or anything early morning so i also used to wake up one hour early in the morning and i used to solve one custom module daily before I go, before i go to the duty so you you need to find time time slots in between your duty or during your duty and somehow squeeze in those question practice okay all right now coming to another important part how to review again very very important okay so for example let's say today morning today is a morning and you are going to start an anatomy so you start with solving the previous year questions of anatomy so you get a general idea of you know what kind of topics are asked and how the questions are being framed and then you go on to your notes so it will be easy to filter out all the relevant information from your notes and once you've completed the notes you can either do uh, you know you can give a subject wise test or you can complete the rest of the previous year questions that you have missed out on okay now how to actually review it so i've divided the kind of mistakes into three types one is there are sometimes there are some bizarre facts for example they may ask a gene mutation they may ask a number of percentage in psm you know uh, they may ask some latest data some uh, some data from the guidelines uh, uh, around statistics which is which is maybe not really relevant so and you need to see how many people are doing it correct if the number is less than 30 to 40 percent correct or if it is some very bizarre fact some random mutation some random gene something very random you just a second yeah you just read it and move on you do not need to remember it you do not you do not need to write it down anywhere just read it just read it with an open mind and move on that's it okay 
now if it is an old information but you made a recall error that means you were not able to remember it or you made a silly mistake you did not read is not you need uh, not correct incorrect or you did not read all the options correctly then you know that it is something which is there in your notes it is something which is there in your memory but you do not know it so the only only solution to it is revise you need to revise 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 your notes multiple times all right now the third kind of mistake we do is if there is some new information if there is some new content for example i've read anatomy i've read my notes but now they are asking me an artery which was not mentioned in my notes and i see it being repeated in the exam multiple times or people who are solving it is more than 40% correct for example there is a question which is uh, the arteries and the veins which pierce the clavipectoral fascia and that was not there in my notes but i read it through mcq and since it was a previous year topic it was a previous year question it was very important so i just added it to my notes so any new information which is either a previous year topic or it is solved by more than 40% people then you need to really remember it you need to add it to your notes especially if you are solving any pyt wrong any previous year question or any previous year topic wrong then you know that you need to really add it to your notes and you need to revise it multiple times okay again i will again reiterate the same thing you need to review on the same day also read other the read uh, the rest of the options as well especially for ina because ina an exam which is not going to ask you a lot of topics it is going to ask you a very limited number of topics but it is going to go into depth of every question so for example they've asked your question and they've given four choices for it next year they will ask you the same topic and they will make the answer maybe some other option and uh, they will uh, rotate the question around that option so whenever you are solving ini pyq especially you need to know and read about each and every option all right okay now so this is about the custom module how to create a custom module how much time to give to mcq practice when to solve it how to review it okay now when do you do you need uh, to solve the question bank like for example do you never have to solve the q bank if you are intern do you never have to solve the q bank or if you have to then in what cases you need to solve the q so q bank should be solved either if there is some weak topic for example let's say i am reading ecg and i am not getting an understanding of ecg or i am i need i think that i need to see the ecgs in a question format to be able to answer it better so then i will be solving the Uh, the question bank only and only of the of my weak topic that is my ecg or if i am uh, repeatedly doing any pyt wrong for example if i am let's say if there are questions from fibroid which i am repeatedly doing wrong and fibroid is a very important topic you know it is asked in the exam every single time so then you need to go back and you need to solve the question bank of fibroid so it will give you the practice of the questions from that topic or if there's any recent update for example recently the ipc was changed to the bns so now you need to uh, solve the forensic ipc or the bns q bank so that you are well versed with all the recent updates okay all right now the next question which arises is are custom modules enough for mcq practice is it sufficient to just solve one two or three custom module every day then again my simple answer is no so you need to supplement your custom module for mcq practice you need to solve uh, uh, supplement your custom module with your grant test very 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 important very important so at least you should like before exam you should aim for 15 to 20 gts at least minimum okay second now once your grant test and custom module is 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 done and you feel that you still have some time or you you find you are able to find time one hour extra in your day you can go with subject wise test or you can go with the tnts tnts are also an absolutely brilliant way to you know uh solve all the previous year topics uh, in a different format because the teachers obviously rotate the questions and then discuss okay all right now most most important point about the pyqs how many years of pyqs do you really need to solve so the answer is very simple it is 5 plus 5 plus 2 5 years of neat pg 5 years of ini and 2 years of smg in maro if you're using the uh, plan view of maro you need to change your mode to uh, find the fmg questions but yeah so 5 plus 5 plus 2 you simply cannot afford to do a pyq wrong one p by there there is a high chance especially in an exam like ini they repeat the questions as it is you cannot do those questions wrong because you will be doing it wrong but there is 2 lakhs of students will be doing it right so your rank will drastically drop down 
ओके नाउ द लास्ट थिंग अबाउट द बुक मार्क्स सो हाउ डू यू एक्चुअली यूज दट बुक मार्क्स सो दिस इज वट आई यूज टू डू आई यूज टू यूज अ स्टेप अप अप्रोच सो देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ बुक मार्क्स वन इज द ब्लू वन दिच इज दिस इज द बेसिक बुक मार्क विच वी यूज सो यू नो एनी रेलिवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विच यू विश टू रिमेंबर सो यू के नॉट एड एवरी थिंग यू टू योर नोट्स बिकॉज देन योर नोट्स विल बिकम बल्क यू सो एनी थिंग विच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट यू इट इज इट इज आई दर अ सिली मिस्टेक यू डेट इट इज समथिंग यू डि नॉट रिमेंबर इट इज समथिंग यू फाउंड न्यू but you did not really you do not really want to add it to your notes so any anything relevant you wish to remember you do bookmark it with the basic blue bookmark now second one is the star one so star one uh, you you need to use it for the pyq so any pyq that you are doing it wrong either it's a silly mistake or it is a twist in the question that you could not figure out or it is a new information that you are going to mark with the red star because again like i said you simply cannot afford to do a pyq wrong Now the third one is the question mark one. So what I used to use it is for all the volatile PYQs. So I firstly, whenever solving the PYQs, I've marked it with the red bookmark. Now if I'm when whenever I'm revising these red bookmarked ones PYQs, if I'm still doing something wrong, I'm repeatedly doing one question wrong. For example, let's say if a gene is asked in the patho exam, and I I just simply just cannot remember it. I like I remember it and then I forget it after uh, two three days. Then I again remember it. I forget it. So these are the ones I used to mark it with the question mark. So these are the ones I used to revise it in the last ten days before the exam. Whenever we talk about the last ten days strategy, we don't really uh talk about solving questions during that time so these are the only these are the only questions the question mark one are the only questions that you are going to revise during those last 10 days because these are the pyqs which are volatile okay another approach is uh, what uh, i've seen other people do is also the use Uh, to bookmark all the controversial questions using that for example the questions just ka answer is given differently on maybe dams the answer is given something else bharti or something else cerebellum something else maru something else on different platforms the answer is different so for controversial questions they use this but personally i prefer the step up approach so blue one for basic all the questions that i wish to bookmark star mark for all the pyqs that i did wrong and question mark one for all the volatile pyqs the pyqs that i am repetitively doing wrong okay all right guys so this is from my side and uh, please do let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you want me to answer regarding this video and uh, like i said you can join my telegram group where i am posting daily custom module codes every day along with uh, various other things like my flash cards some motivational snippets some mnemonics which i made during my preparation and uh, yeah so all right all the best see you soon